one of my top 10 greatest films of all time. Yes, you heard me say it. One of my top 10 all-time greatest films ever. The Highlander with Christopher Lambert, Sean Connery, the great Clancy Brown. They've been talking for a long time about doing a remake. Now, back in the day, back in the AMC days, actually back in the movie blog days, there was talks that Ryan Reynolds was attached to do a Highlander remake. For years, he was attached to that. Then that kind of went away. Then a couple of years ago, <gasps> what's this? Some whispers started going out that Henry Cavill, with John Wick director John Stahelski, was going to be looking at rebooting The Highlander. And they keep talking about it. And Chad, the director, has kept talking about it and kept talking about it. That's all it's ever been. Just a lot of talk. Well, now, today, ladies and gentlemen, Mark this on your calendar. October 27th, 2023 is the day that it became real. Because according to Deadline, this thing's now official. All right, so from Deadline, in the world of Highlander reboots, there can still only be one, and then another one, and then another one. And it's a good one at that. For the first time, Lionsgate will be launching sales at the American film market on their long gestating fantasy reboot, which has Henry Cavill aboard to star as the Scottish swordsman and uh, John Wick filmmaker Chad Stahelski set to direct. We hear this will be a big budget proposition north of a $100 million budget. Stahelski himself has previously talked about, about it uh, as akin to John Wick with swords. The team is eyeing a 2024 start date. So they're actually out there selling this movie now at the, at the AFM, which is super great. The money is changing hands, they're, which means they've got a script. The script must be done if they're now already eyeing start a production on this thing. And Henry Cavill coming in to play the Heiner. Now look, before I saw Henry Cavill in The Witcher, I thought he was perfect to be the new Connor McLeod. Seeing him as Geralt of Rivia only deepened my belief that he is perfect to pay Connor McLeod or the clan McLeod. Uh, now, one of the big questions that will be for me, though, well, two of the big questions, they're both casting decisions. Who plays Sean Connery's role as Ramirez? Who do you get to come in and play that? And then the second, equally as important one is, who plays Clancy Brown's The Kurgan? Because you got to have a great Kurgan. Henry Cavill's going to be able to step in. Now, Christopher Lambert did, did, did a great job playing this role. He was fabulous, despite the fact that I believe he was a Frenchman playing yeah. a Frenchman <laughs> playing a Scottish Spaniard. And, 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 I'm still confused about this movie, And John. a Scottishman playing, playing a Spaniard. Playing an Egyptian Spaniard. <laughs> yes. Like, what? Yeah. And then only to be more confused about Christopher Lambert then going on to play Lord Raiden in uh, Mortal Kombat. Kombat. That was even yeah. a little bit more. But he was great as Connor McLeod of the Clan McLeod. I am so bloody excited for this. A Tarzan? modern retelling of this cool. story with modern technique. I They don't have to do it. It's fine if they don't. But my God, if they can keep the Queen soundtrack <gasps> perfection incarnate. I don't know. Ray, what do you, what do you think? I don't know what this franchise is about. I don't know who they cast in those things. But the thing I like about it is that the John Wick director is at the yeah as a, that 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 interests me. I like it that it's at Lionsgate too. They seem to pop like action movies. They seem to do very well over there. Yep. Um, I just can't wait to see what they do with a sword this time. It's it's a sword. His weapon is a sword now, right? Well, no. So so this is this is the the basic idea. This is the mythology of the Highlander. Okay, throughout history, every once in a while, an immortal is born, and whenever immortals come across each other, they can recognize that they're immortals. And if you cut off the other immortal's head, you gain their power. Basically. Because it's, it's because they're aliens. The quickening, right? It's because they're aliens. No, no forget. No, no shut, it's because they're you aliens. You shut your fucking dirty mouth. They're... You shut <laughs> your whore mouth. I don't get it. Right <laughs> now, we do not talk about the Highlander because 2. Because Highlander 2. It does oh, not exist. It. They renounced it. You shut up. Anyway, so there's... I need to watch Highlander too. There's no, no, you don't. I've never you been really more excited don't. to watch a movie, Ray. Let's so, go. Here's the thing. So, but they all know, somehow, they just know, instinctually, they know that at some time in the future, they're going to all feel drawn to one place where they will finally battle it out. That sounds because cool. Because there can be only one. That sounds And then cool. the Alien. last survivor will get what's called Alien. the prize. But none of them know what that is, what the prize is. And so Mark. it follows Connor McLeod from the old Highlander days 
all the way through history and going up, leading up to the uh, to the gathering. Get Dwayne Johnson as the other as the Kurgan. Well, that wouldn't be Dwayne a bad Johnson, idea. Hey, that's a great. He would be because great. They never as the got Kurgan. their fight in uh, Black Adam and Superman. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We can finally get our hands <laughs> yeah, in. Let's do it. Come on. Um, all joking aside, he would be a great Kurgan. Dwayne Johnson would be let's awesome. Let's do as the it. Kurgan. But I'm but I'm still kind of who Don't. plays Ramirez. Oh. Do you think there could be a role for? Uh, I almost said for John Wick, for Keanu Reeves in this somewhere. No, that would, would he be too distracting? <laughs> I mean, you, he could be a Ramirez. I guess, I guess John, but I don't think he's quite old enough to be Ramirez. I mean, listen, like how old is Keanu now? 55, 56? 50, yeah, he was, something like that. Or is he getting, getting look up his age, something yeah. like that. I think he's at least minimum mid 50s at this point. I don't think he's quite old enough to play Ramirez. Uh, then it becomes the 59. question. Yeah, he's 59. So he's almost 60. Damn, Keanu. Yeah, Keanu's almost 60. Dang. So then, of course, it there was, was a pretty good, a, a pretty good TV series called The Highlander, where that focuses on Connor's cousin, mm -hmm. Duncan McLeod. So then that brings in the question: Could you have a Duncan McLeod in the movie? And uh, I, I don't know. I could see Carl Urban maybe as a a new version of Duncan McLeod. I don't know, guys. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video. Mint Mobile. Signing your life away to a big wireless provider is kind of like being trapped on a roller coaster from hell. Sure, it looks like fun at first. They probably even threw in a free phone. But now you can't get off. Month after month of insane bills and unexpected thrills, like overages and surprise fees. If that sounds like your current big wireless plan, it's time to get off the ride with Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are just $15 a month. That's unlimited talk, text, and data for just 15 bucks a month. You guys know before I came to Mint Mobile, I was paying triple what I am paying now on the standard big wireless plan, and I will never go back. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. To get your new unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped right to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com dot com slash campia cut your wireless bill to just 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia anyway chris mm. uh as somebody who is so well versed in this. the lore of highlander <laughs> as someone who went what's a kurgan <laughs> what's a kurgan <laughs> what do you think about this news as, as somebody who, as listen this is an old film i'm sure there's yeah. a lot of people watching who've never seen the highlander but mm. does this appeal to you what do you think about the sounds of this it definitely appeals to me i love that henry cavill is just living out his nerd dreams just, yeah, I want to. I want to be the Highlander. I want to make a Warhammer movie. I want to do whatever I want and talk about, uh, you know, a Polish book that I really enjoy. Not the video game, the <laughs> Polish book. He's such a nerd. I love it. It's amazing to see him conquer the world. I am curious how people keep feeling about an iconic Scottish character not being played by a Scotsman, though, just because you know. There are feelings about the English, certainly. <laughs> yeah. Well, at least at least he's from closer to Scotland than Christopher than France. Lambert. France by way of Long so, Island. But I think um, the Scots prefer the French probably, to the British probably. based on history. So, yeah. so. so tell me something. In, in the Highlander movies, what does the Highlander do? What is the Highlander doing in between time before finding the... Or is it the whole thing about searching for that other immortal? No, no, no. So, like, it's basically, just... he's just living, like, Connor, the, this, the character Connor is living through time. Mm -hmm. Some are more evil. They're going out hunting other immortals. Connor's just trying to live his life. He's accumulating wealth. He's gone from love to love. So, in so he's, in, he's embracing being an immortal. Right. Then. Yes. But he's, he's not going out and about and trying to find, be, become the strongest. He's just doing. No, he's like, just, yeah, he's just trying to survive everyday like everybody thing. else. Like he's got other immortals that are his friends, even though, oh. even though, even if you're friends, you know, at some point in the future, whether it's five years or a hundred years I or 200 see. years from now, you're going to have to battle until there's only one. Just like all friendship. Just like all friendships, just like that Survivor. really yeah. cool actually. You guys, oh God, you guys it's don't so good. Chop off the heads of your friends. Mm -hmm. And then the second movie came that ruined everything. Tell me about it, Jonathan. But then, <laughs> then the third movie came out <laughs> that basically that? said, remember the second movie? We don't either. It didn't happen. The second movie didn't happen, everybody. And they just like retconned the second movie. Which one movie was entirely. Endgame? 
Highlander Endgame. Which one was that one? Was that the fourth one or fifth one? Because that's think, the only I, one I saw. I think that's the one that had Duncan in it with Connor. I think that was, yeah, the fourth, wasn't it? Yeah, it might have been the fourth. The third one had Mario Van Peebles <laughs> in it. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I told you what we did, right, for Endgame or what me and Ryan and uh, Tommy and us No, did. it was that. We, because we knew Edge was in in the movie, like in the beginning, like the WWE wrestler. So we went, we saw his part. He 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 got killed like in the first what five minutes? In which movie? And then we left. <laughs> in which movie? Highlander Endgame. Is Edge in that? Yeah. I probably didn't even remember that. <laughs> hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campy Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today, so it'll be there when you need it.